Quran Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, Yahweh. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name of Kaha Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. And also, shout out to the 144,000 men. As liberty is true for the sake of Yahweh Shai, and shout out to the innumerable multitude men, women, and children. And maybe listening in all truth and sincerity, Shalom. And uh, Shabbat Shalom. And uh, from the uh, JMS plus bomb camp. And on this video here, I'm just going to go through Titus, the first chapter. And uh, and of course, pull, pull a few precepts here. And our Lord within this video is, is edified. This is Titus 1. And verse 1, it says, Paul, a servant of the Most High. And and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, or to, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. So Paul was, Paul is of the elect, all right? And more than likely back on, on this earth today. Uh, it says, according to, to the faith of God's elect, right? Because there is an within the elect, there is an elect within the nation of Israel, man. All right, you can read about the qualities there, and uh, all throughout the scriptures, really. <clears throat> but really, Second Peter's the first chapter goes into different qualities of the elect as well, and it's the scriptures. Uh, I know it's in the New Testament here. It's a uh, Galatians six and verse. Uh, let me see if it's. Yeah, second Galatians six and verse I'm gonna start at verse fifteen it says for in a mashak Yahweh neither circumcision avail of anything nor uncircumcision but a new creature and as many as walk according to this rule peace be on peace be on them and mercy and mercy and upon the Israel of God. You know, really going into the elect, all right, because not all Israel is of Israel right now. All right, so Titus 1 and verse 2 it says, In hope of eternal life, which the Most High that cannot lie promised before the world began. See, uh, in the hope of eternal life, it says, Which God that cannot lie promise before the world begins so the lord promised us you know really a part of that new covenant covenant is going to be immortality man all right and god is a god that he can't lie so uh maybe think of this uh romans 3 and verse 3 says for what if some did not believe shall that unbelief Make the faith of the Most High without effect. God forbid, yea, let God be true, 
but every man a liar as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right? You know, let God be true and every man a liar. So the Yahweh Shmuel Shah doesn't lie. The Most High Yahweh does not lie. All right? Hey, lo and behold, when the Lord said we were going to go into captivity if we didn't obey his words, we went into captivity. Right, the Lord said he's going to strip us from our heritage. He stripped us from our heritage. This is uh, Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. All right, so all the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to accomplish, you know, what is supposed to uh, accomplish, man. All right. This is uh, Titus 1 and verse 3. It says, But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of the Most High, our Savior. And that's what the Lord, that's what we're in the process of seeing now. All right. And in due time, uh, the Lord has once again uh, manifested his word through preaching, man. Okay. All right, starting with the apostles and elders, and their and their uh, also their elders as well. All right, starting with uh, Abba Bivens. Okay. All right, the the word is being uh, preached throughout the four corners of the earth as we speak. It's being manifested, man. All right, it says, but it, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. See, in due time. So this is the time, you know. Of this word being brought out. Alright, the Lord uh loose the seals, okay, for this time of now. Alright, what it says in Daniel the twelfth chapter. Daniel twelve and verse four says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and now it shall be increased. All right, so the, this word has been shut up for, uh, for that manifested, for that appointed time. Let me actually get Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2, 2 and verse 3 it says, For the division is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right, so at the end it's going to be manifested, and it says, and it shall not lie, because the Lord doesn't lie. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Going back to Titus 1 and 3 again, it says, But have in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of the Most High, our Savior. And it says, Committed unto me, so the elect is pre preordained, all right, from the womb, man. Jeremiah 1 and 5. All right, to be a prophet unto the nations, man. Verse 4 says, To Titus, my own son, after the common faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. If any, so this is Paul pretty much uh, sending this letter over to Titus, all right, to uh, to set in order uh, the elders uh, that was in the city, in the city of uh, Crete. It says, verse 6, it says, if any be blameless, the husband of, the husband of one wife having faithful children not accused of riot or unruly for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of the most high not self-willed not soon angry not given to wine no striker not given to filthy lucre all right so designing an, an office 
of a bishop. All right, Apostle Paul was strongly suggesting, okay, that you be a husband uh, to one wife. All right, not saying that multiple wives is going off, but taking the uh, the office of a bishop. This is what Paul is is recommending, man. So, if you're desiring an office of a bishop, you know, you should definitely, you know, follow, you know, what Paul is saying here. All right, it'll be to your best interest. It says, for a bishop must be blameless, as a steward of the Most High, not self-willed. Not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. So that's saying, can a bishop uh, not, is not supposed to be drinking? No, but can have may have a, like a wine or two, but you not, you know, you're not giving yourself over to that, you know, every night, man. Not as a, not as the uh, office of a bishop, man, because you have, you have a bigger. Uh, like he say in the world, bigger fish to fry, man. All right, and it says no striker, not given to filthy lucre, you know, uh, just in it for the money, man. Okay, because a lot of you have a lot of men, even today, that are in it for the money and call themselves bishops. One particular IUIC, all right, top generals or whatever the case may be, all right, and they're given and they're in this thing for for, for the sake of money only. All right, it says, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught that he may be able to, that he may be able by sound doctrine, by sound doctrine, both to, to exhort, to exhort, exhort and to convince the gainsayers all right so by your actions all right and by keeping this the sound doctrine the hundred and hundred and the hundred percent truth you know which was given to the apostles and the elders okay it says that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers man all right so by hold uh holding fast this faithful word, man, continue, continuing to do this work for for 10, 20 plus years, you, you, you are being a good example, man, all right, and you're convincing the, uh, the gainsayers, man, all right, pretty much the scoffers, you know, winning them over by your, by, by, uh, by sound doctrine and good works, it says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So those that know that they're Israelites, all right, many uh, vain talkers, you know, not talking about things that are important to salvation, all right, and it says uh, vain talkers and deceivers, okay, you know, deceiving people with these for the for the money, really, all right. Because the next verse says, verse eleven, who says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake, all right. Just for the money, teaching false things, man. All right, telling you can have sex on the Sabbath, all right, to appease more of these uh, undesirables, all right, and. Ultimately, these undesirables are tied into this to these different camps. All right, so there's any for the money's sake, man. Saying, oh, you can take the back, you, you can take the vaccine, man. It's no problem. Okay, you're uh, by doing that, you're uh, it says who subvert whole houses, you're uh, turning families away from this truth, man. Okay, I S U B K. You know, plenty of talk show that they have on the radio. All right, and they're spreading false information, man. Okay, and they at the end of the day, they're doing it for the dollar bill, man. Because cash rules everything around them, man. All right, they're in that cream mentality, man. Okay, but you got to be in a mentality of doing things in truth and sincerity 
for Yahweh Bashmi on Shai, man. And, and give a damn what this world thinks, man. The scripture, uh, uh, I believe it's Luke. Yeah, it's definitely Luke. Luke 6 and verse. Verse 22, it says, Luke 6 and 22, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. All right, because... Because Yahweh Shah was hated, man. All right, he was hated for teaching the truth. Okay, so his elect men are going to be hated as well. And I was actually looking for the one. Uh, jumping down to verse 26, Luke 6 and 26. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their, their fathers to the false prophets. Okay, so if you got. Not saying that if you got a large gathering that you're going off, you know, but. Nine times out of ten, these different camps, uh, you seen all the people that was out there with IYC, man. Million man marches, all right? Why do they have so many uh, followers, man? Because they're doing all things. And many people speak good of these different camps, man. Woe, man. Woe to you when all men shall speak well of you, man. All right? Because the true disciples were hated. Okay? And that's the case, you know, with uh, Gray Millstone, which are the true prophets of the Lord, I believe, through faith. All right. We're being hated. All right. Because we. Uh, we coming out with things raw, man. All right. Raw and uncut. We're not sparing feelings, man. All right. People call us rapists, you know, pedophiles, you know. All because we tell people, uh, according to the scriptures, you know, what's the protocol for uh, so-called rape, okay? And what's the protocol according to the scriptures if a woman is uh, has her uh, has her cycle, man? A woman becomes, uh, or or a daughter becomes a woman when she reaches her flower all right which is your period okay becomes a grown she becomes a uh a woman of meritable age okay but that's another topic there let me go back to titus 1 and verse 11 says whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre sakes one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the creatures, the the creatures, creations are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. Okay, so in this time you even had own 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 false prophets, you know, selling out, you know. Being what they call like a whistleblower, man. Okay, you seeing that in these times as well, people coming out of these different camps, all right, Israelites coming out of these different camps, you know, saying that all the all those leaders was uh was in it for the money, you know, they was uh deceivers, liars, all types of things, man. So these same spirits are back here today. And it says, uh, yeah, the evil beast, <laughs> you know, that, uh, it's a one video that was surfing out a while ago about, uh, HOI, you know, it was, they had brought up GMS as well, but, you know, the dude ultimately bugged out, you know, but these false prophets, these whistleblowers, you know, that they, they are popping out from these other camps. All right, 
In verse uh, 13 says, This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. You know, so we have, you know, starting with the apostles, elders, brothers on down, of course, we are rebuking these other Israelites sharply, man. All right? And even our own, that even uh, those are within Great Millstone, we, we, we rebuke each other sharply, man. All right, so, but we're definitely not holding back on these different camps. That's why you see so many videos of the, whether it be the apostles, the elders, or brothers on down doing rebuke videos of these different false doctrines, man. All right, because that's according to the scriptures, man. All right, it says rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. So we're showing true love. All right, we're... We're trying to uh, get you to get salvation, man, because you, you're you going to be uh, held accountable for teaching false doctrine. Verse 14 says, Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. All right, so we're not giving heed to these different myths. Okay? All right, we're sticking to the scriptures, man. All right, that's all you got to do is just stick to the scriptures. Everything else is irrelevant and vain. Okay, these, uh, it said, because jumping back to verse 10, it said, vain talkers and deceivers. You know, people, they want to do these big concerts. You know, they want to see you on some type of worldly level. Okay, but just stick to the scriptures, man. All right, it says, and commandments of men that turn from the truth. All right, so we're not listening to different men that already fell out to faith, you know, trying to come back in, you know, we're sticking to this, we gotta stick, stick to the script, man, all right, it's already written, just, just, uh, just stick to the, uh, to the scripts, man, all right, verse 15 says, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled, all right, so you can't listen to a bug out, man. Okay, but unto the pure, all things are pure, man. And verse 16 says, they profess that they know the most high, but in works, they deny him being abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work, reprobate, man. So right? unapproved spirits, man. All right. Those that are teaching false doctrine, you really can't trust. You know, anything that they're saying, man. Okay, WFI, IUIC, ISUPK, you know. Those are not the examples, all right, that the Lord has set out, man. All right, so we got to be aware in these times of false prophets, man. All right, Scripture says, what, many false prophets this is Matthew 24 verse 14 it says uh, Matthew 24 and 11 it says and many false prophets shall arise shall rise and shall deceive many okay so there's going to be a lot there's a lot of false prophets out here man all right, that's why, you know, you listen to all these different camps is bugged out. First John four and one says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are the Most High, because many false prophets are going out into the world." All right, so we got to be circumspect in these times, man. All right, making sure, you know, that we're on point. All right, and not being deceived by these false prophets man all right because there's many out there as the scriptures say that are going out into the world claiming to be king david okay claiming to be the lord yahweh shai okay so don't be deceived man all right the holy spirit well which is the spirit of truth will will, will reveal it to you man if you're of the elect so with that you know lord willing this video is edifying i'm gonna close and give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 
Rakha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson I say Shalom and a Baba Ball Shalom.